Hi and welcome to Project Marlin. Um, today my task is to try and dewire the dashboard. Um, it's going to be a bit of a slow task. Um, it's quite a mess behind there but I've got a load of cable ties with tags on so I can label everything up. And uh, I'll just show you quickly. Taking this panel out first because it's going to be easy, easy-ish. I'm going to label each one of these up. Uh, there's one further down that is just blue spades pushed on. Uh, so I'm, when I get to that one, <coughs> excuse me, I will um, have to write down which wire goes where. But that shouldn't be too bad. Well, we've got the um, these two panels out now. As you can see, it's all a bit of a jumble. I've got a tag on everything. That one's for one of the ones for the fuel. The fuel has actually been modified, unfortunately. Uh, it's coolant temperature gauge. I've got positive. Uh, that one's the earth, and that one's the signal. So I've made a note in a notebook, uh, and I've tagged stuff. So. These two panels are done. Stuff on the back here, I'll have to take off in a minute uh, and go through that. However, this panel's next. This panel is going to be, I think, the worst one to do because it's all screwed into connectors. There's going to be lots and lots of things to write down. Just hang that there a moment. Um, unless I can trace this loom back and it goes to a multi plug, which would be nice. We'll have a look um, and I'll let you know. Um, another little update on how it's getting on. Uh, these are the sensors for the tank level. Um, I've had to cut those off because they were all soldered. So we'll put a multi plug on. Uh, these are mostly for the buttons on the fire control panel, although this bundle uh, was never connected. There's nowhere for them to go. So, anyway, we've got that out. Uh, you can see here, I've got the fuse box on this side down um, I've got loads of notes about everything I've done so far and I'm gonna go through make a note of all of the connections on there and then uh, remove them so once we've done that we'll do the one on the other side and we'll see what's left before that we need to disconnect before we can start pulling the actual um, physical plastic pieces out so it doesn't look like much more has happened, but um, I've got some wiring undone out of those boxes, or that box down there. Um, all of the rivets, apart from one, I think, are out that hold this piece, but I can't get it out. So I need to get this door open to get that plate out, to get the rivet that's behind it. Um, I've also removed a bit of the uh, heated duct in so it's easy to get to things. I'll, uh, I'll show you where I've taken that out from in a second. So this bit of heater duct is what comes from the air heater on the left hand side of the cab. So you can see some more ducting in there. It comes from there. It runs along the front of this on the brackets and into that side where you see we're working at the moment. I've taken that out um, all this is going to have to come out as well, all of these bits in here. Um, some quite worrying bodges, um, but I'm sure we'll find out what everything does uh, eventually. Um, that's me done for today. I've been here all day. It's coming up, well, it's a Saturday. It's coming up five o'clock. Um, I've been here since nine. Um, I've absolutely shattered and uh, hopefully on the next clip uh, you see in this video uh, we'll be back at it. I'm going to have a day or two off. The weather's supposed to turn on Monday and I'm having tomorrow off from the truck uh, so a bit of a rest. Um, so we've got that off. There's uh, some 70 amp breakers there that I've taken off the bulkhead. Disconnected the cables coming back this way. Um, he is gone in there, the heater looms there, it's disconnected from here. This is a multi-plug that lives down there. Loads of multi-plugs down there. They come up into the loom, run across, some of them run this way, some run the other. 
all those conduits under there don't have multi plugs, they're all hardwired. So I've got to try and unpick all of this into its separate sections. What I remove, I remove. What can be threaded back through needs to be threaded back through. My next task is, I don't think you see very well, um, battery, ignition, negative. I'm going to undo these. Um, so we start trying to get some more of this out. Uh, today, today's been one of those days where um, we've not done what I was planning on doing. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. I've been looking at dewiring the cab. Um, we're looking at some wires under the front, and we end up taking the front corner panel off instead of to try and get to things. Uh, so you can see panels off there. You see where the headlights live. Um, I'll come round and I'll show you the state of the framework. People keep saying to me, why am I taking off the uh, out the dash? Well, that should be a solid plate. Um, if you know anyone that helped build this and they've lost a the drill bit, <laughs> there's one there still. Uh, that's the bracket that holds the wing mirror uh, moving round. Um, this is, yeah, it's not great. Uh, obviously, bottom of the windscreen actually not bonded it's just hanging off the top that's one of the reasons we want to take that out obviously this is all gone um, which is not great so that's been today um, I was hoping to do a strip in the cab in one video um, or, or the remains of stripping the cab and getting the dash out obviously I've got involved with bodywork as well now um, so I think I'll, I'll call it a day on this video and we will do a part two. Well, the work on the cab's progressing. Um, we're going to have to uh, be a bit creative with some of it. I've realised that we're not going to be able to take uh, some of the wiring out easily. So the four bundles of wire that are hardwired into the chassis on the right hand side of the dashboard, uh, we're going to cut those. Uh, number them all uh, so we can reconnect them properly and once they're all reconnected we'll uh, or when we reconnect them sorry uh, we'll fit some multi plugs similar to the ones on the, the left hand side I think that's really how it was meant to be uh, because that's a sensible way of doing things it also means if we have to take the dashboard out again it will save so much work um, We've managed to track down uh, the information, or we found some information on the ABS ECU. So I need to track down a bit more um, schematics for it. So apparently it was the same as fitted to a, a Volvo B10 bus. Um, where else are we up to? As far as the channel goes, um, at some time, soon the channel is going to be changing slightly we're going to be moving away from uh, a single project channel uh, my other half and a good friend of mine have both got projects uh, that we need to sort of get our teeth into so we put some videos up on theirs the main focus will always stay the marlin or at least for until it's done we'll stay the marlin um, but there will be some other projects coming on board we were hoping to do this a bit sooner rather than later but at the moment there's, there's certain hurdles to overcome to be able to do those so when they turn up I'm not too sure but that's coming in the future. Uh, one thing that has come is Project Marlin t-shirts and because everybody loves a cup of tea, uh, Project Marlin mugs. If you'd like to get your hands on a t-shirt or a mug or even a hoodie, if you go to projectmarlin.co.uk and look in our shop link for the merchandise um, then you'll find uh, yourself taken to a Teespring page. Teespring uh, manufacture and host all of the sales, they do everything to do with it. However we get a couple of pounds from each sale uh, which all goes towards uh, paying for the parts for the Marlin uh, because we've got some really big bills coming up. Um, if you've liked this video uh, please click like 
If you've not already subscribed, please click subscribe. And if you'd like notifications of when we upload new videos, please ring that bell icon. As always, we'd love to hear your comments. And uh, hopefully we'll see you very, very soon in the part two video. Thanks a lot. Cheerio.